that same bitch that a slice of niggas tires. Look him in his face, say I love him, I'm a liar. I love how he tricky, wanna put me in designer. I'ma make him work for the cookie nigga work. Oh my gosh. Good morning. Oh my god, y'all see how skinny I look. <laughs> bitch, I lost more weight. I did lose more weight though. But I wanted to weigh myself, but I just ate like a big breakfast, so I didn't even do it. But good morning, y'all. Good morning. Let me give y'all some updates on some tea on some things that I've realized that I have failed to give y'all an update on. So, honey, take a seat. Take, take a little seat, bitch. And get ready to get into this tea. So, remember that whole situation I told you guys about the guy that literally was driving and apparently, um, remember the little bit of tea I told y'all about the guy that was driving his car and I called his insurance. They couldn't find his insurance. Girl, why I call my insurance? Because they said that they should be able to find something. Bitch, I should have never let that nigga go. He had no insurance. Because my um my my insurance provider, she searched up his VIN number. She searched up his name. She searched up everything. He don't have any insurance, girl. <laughs> Get into that. He don't have no insurance. So, literally, that was something that... I had to take in account and work on that this morning of getting my car fixed, but putting it under my own deductible instead of his. You don't even like, um, come here, come here. Yes, the beautiful baby. Girl, he don't have no insurance. Hmm. Put this in your mouth. He don't have no insurance. So, bitch, y'all know I had to take care of all that shit. So, I love you, Eric, about that. But comes out, what is my fault? He don't got no insurance. What next? Then that's not even half. So, we got that situation. The next situation is, girl, why, um, I didn't even remember. I know we're going to give y'all an update, and I didn't think about it until, like, I never give y'all an update and I didn't think about it until like now. So, I don't know if y'all remember. I don't know if y'all remember a while ago. Well, not that long ago. It was like a video where I was talking about this situation. It was like when I had went to the Tupac exhibit. That's what it was. It was like a month ago I went to the Tupac exhibit. I remember I told you I was going with this girl and basically she was all mad and acting all crazy and basically fussed my ass out for no fucking reason remember i told y'all about that and y'all all was in the comments like bitch no she didn't i was like yes she did child so why i you know i get on my twitter but i don't get on my twitter like that that but i do get on my twitter girl when i get on my twitter she had basically no first off i didn't even go to my twitter i was on my cash app because this other girl i talked to she was sending me money y'all know i'm running them tricks quick <laughs> let me stop Child. So this girl. So this girl basically has sent me some money. Cause y'all know everybody. <laughs> Baby, my little language is gifts, boo. You better come with some gifts and some money. Who you think you is? Oh, you being cute today. Yeah, you. What you doing? Why you up there? Huh? Huh? Why you up there? Why are you looking at me like that? You normally answer me back, but now you got some people watching. You gonna be cute, girl? I'm not even about to talk to you. I'm about to talk to these people. I'm sure they want to see you too. So, child, why the hell? I had went on my Twitter. Like I said, you know, bitches be sending me money and stuff like that. So I had went on my Cash App. And mind you, what am I told y'all when I left that situation? I blocked her everywhere. I blocked her on my Instagram. I blocked her on my phone. I blocked her everywhere. I knew that she could reach me. I blocked her. So I get on my Cash App. That's the only place. That's the only place she will not get blocked home, over here. So anybody for future reference, any future bays, if you get blocked everywhere, one thing you ain't gonna be blocked is Cash App. So make sure you send that money. 
So I got a dollar and it said, check your Twitter inbox, please. And I think to myself, bitch, you could have sent more than a dollar, but okay, I'm gonna rock with it. <laughs> so I go on my Twitter and girl, why I get over there and she basically in, then wrote me a whole little paragraph. I'm talking about a book, baby, a book that she tried to hit my phone, but she couldn't get through because she assumed she's blocked. And she, she also hit me on Instagram, tried to find me on Instagram, couldn't find me because she's blocked there. And she was just saying that she wanted to apologize for the way she treated me. She hope I forgive her and then tell me about a little bit of background of her, why she thinks she did that, because that's something we didn't talk about at one point in time. Um, some issues she's dealt with in the past was like that. And then basically she was just saying like, you know, she wants to be back cool. And she also said that, you know, she's sorry and I'm a really great person. And she was just saying she prays, she pray for me and stuff like that. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, you know, thank you. I was like, you know what, thank you. Like, and it's crazy because I'm in a great space. So I just wrote her back. It was like, you know, thank you. I thank you for apologizing. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate it. And also, you know, it's not my love over here. Like, I don't have no bad feelings towards you or nothing like that. But I do know, like, you know, we cool. It's cool. But I am block her ass. Then she was like, I'm blocking everything. And I need a way to get your attention. Cause I said, damn, bitch, you're going to send me a dollar. You could have sent a little more than a dollar. She's like, well, you know, I would like to take you out for dinner as an apology. And I'm not going to yell. I won't cut you off. Cut you off. And I'm like, that. I'm like, okay, no problem. So, girl, she apologized. Which, I am I mean, I can commend somebody that really did. But I wanted to give y'all an update on that. Because I had never told y'all the update on what happened with that. But she definitely apologized. Bitch, that's the least you could do. You cut my ass out. For no reason. I didn't get them all. So, you know, right now I'm in this transitional space of like, I got a lot of stuff on my head. A lot of things I got to get done. A lot of work I'm trying to put out. And I just feel like, you know, in this space right now, I'm trying to. I'm trying to really excel in any way possible. And I just feel like with me wanting to excel and have better energy, I can't hold on to stuff that used to irritate me or bother me before. Otherwise, I'm putting myself in that same energy. So, yeah, I had to let it go. And I'm glad I did because I don't want to hold no shit on my chest either, bitch, because I need my chest to be scot free. But yeah, that's what happened with that. And then. Yeah. Oh, bitch. Let me tell y'all. So, why the fuck I'm on City Girls page? Y'all know I love me and City Girls. I don't follow their City Girls Instagram, but I do follow them both separately, like JT and freaking Carisha, as you guys can see. So, girl, why everybody kept tagging me? I'm like, why is people tagging me? Why is people tagging me? Girl, they posted a little swipe and chat. They posted me in a swipey on their Instagram. Not now, bitch, in the world look like this. Y'all see that? Not near bitch in the world look like this. Oh my god, I love the city girls. Not near bitch in the world look like this. It's crazy because I love the freaking city girls. Like I don't be fan on nobody, but when I tell y'all I love the city girls, like they're my girls for real. Like, oh, I love the city girls. But y'all, yes, I wanted to give y'all that little update because I'm like, oh my god, I love them so much. I know y'all was talking about me last time about how I like to eat mine. Baby, y'all just had to keep talking about me. Cause this is how I'm going to cut my mangoes up. Period. Period. Oh my gosh. So I cleaned my room and I put my shoes on this rack. This is the rack that was from my studio. Y'all remember that? So basically I just hung some of my shoes up in here. But I actually like the way it is. And having them like right next to each other. That would be really freaking cute. Because ciao. Yes. Yes, honey. So I put them in here, but this looks so dope. I got one more little basket of shoes that I got to figure out how I'm going to do. But I think if I go over here and do my boot closet, the same way I did this one, then I have a lot more space and all my stuff will fit in there. But I literally been trying to put down the back burner because I'm like, bitch, I need to do my work and be busy. Okay. But y'all see me. Period. Period. I need to clean this mirror too. Ooh, it looks a mess.
So y'all, I am making cauliflower rice. It's my first time, but it does look really, really good. And then I had put some chicken inside of the stove. Looks really juicy as well. And now I'm cooking asparagus also. So yes. I didn't even show y'all the baby. Hey, pretty. Come here. And she got some bubbles. Sit. Hello, beautiful. Hi. Hi. Hi, mommy. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm, y'all want to always see Moo Moo. So here she is. You look so freaking cute. The most beautiful girl in the world. Hey y'all. So I literally should have vlogged earlier, but I didn't vlog. Basically, I went over to my photographer's house, the one I'm always working with. And I told him I had got my new camera that I unboxed for you guys. And I wanted him to teach me how to use it. And I was going to pay him and everything. And he told me, he was like, you don't have to pay me. Like, he said he went to camera school and stuff. So, um, basically... He taught me how to use my camera. He did teach me a lot of knowledgeable information. And I would love, i probably do a little mini explanation to y'all, like a beginner camera basics thing. Because I feel like with me, he made it make so much more sense to me than what I was making it make sense to myself from previous. I mean, but give or take, that would make sense. Because he actually went to school for it. But I should have vlogged him talking so I could remember, but I didn't. So, um, right now, I'm about, like, I'm kind of done with this hair. I really am. And when I'm done with hair, like, I like to retire it. You know what I mean? Like, when I say retire it, it means, like, bitch, I'm about to move on to another hairstyle. And before I moved on to another hairstyle, I definitely wanted to go ahead and wear an outfit with this. So I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of this real quick with my camera. And plus, he taught me some little tricks and stuff. So it'll be good to practice. So, you know, I hit June up. I'm like, bitch, what you doing? And June was supposed to go and get her hair done, but the lady not going to do it now or something happened with her hair. So. She ain't gonna get her hair done, so. I was like, well, girl, come over. I cook and, um, I cook and. We hey, guys, it's your girl. Bitch, I'm about to watch me some lovely tea. But I was telling June, I was like, girl, I'm, I'll cook and, um, what else am I going to do? I cook for us. So June was like, you know I love me some food. Like, period. So, let me go ahead and look back in. Oops, oops, oops. We're going to see what I come up with, though. We're going to see. Girl, I'm not trying to get it everywhere, but okay. I bet y'all. Are they blocking it off or something? Oh, is it a protest? Uh -uh, they need to move the fuck out of the way. Bitch. Me and Jill here. We look like the other day. <laughs> I didn't get pictures. You didn't get pictures yet, so I have to make a, a point that I have to get early, I have to get ready early so now I can take pictures so I don't have to keep recapping. Come on, old lady. Go ahead. Why are you gotta call her old? Cause she is. Not you care about me calling my old. That is not nice. What if one day you that old? I what will be you? unless I'm gonna die. No. <laughs> I needs to get old. Okay. Bitch, I'm a
I like the shadow though. Let me show you. It's gonna be the first time. taking my pictures and this guy literally rides by on a skateboard I'm like somebody's coming and he takes like he has a cup or something and he literally puts his hand in the cup and just splashes that shit in my face and at first I thought he had put acid or something on me because it like it started tingling but he literally put that shit in my face you don't see that shit and I was like we was down here looking for him because I got right in my car I said bitch if I motherfucking see this man I'm liable to hit him with my fucking car Cause bitch, what? No, but he knew to get up off that skateboard. Don't hit that old man. He knew to get off that fucking skateboard cause he knew that somebody was gonna come for his ass. I don't even remember where we was at to even fucking circle the fucking block. Did he have a backpack on? Um, I think he might have did. I mean, somebody stopped at a car. Start harassing motherfuckers. Like, what is your fucking problem, my fucking nigga? I don't remember where we was at. I don't either. It was up there. Up there? Mm hmm. Yo, what? I'm about to go home and, like, you need to wash your face. Really? You need to wash your face. Oh, bitch, I'm so f I had to fucking wash my face. Like, what the fuck is wrong with people, bro? Like, mm. oh my god. Y'all, we is running, we is running late as fuck. Then I'm got an appointment. So basically last time she had to go to an appointment to get a checkup. So now she getting an appointment to get her teeth clean because she had to get an appointment to get the checkup first. Look at her. You made us late this morning because you wanted to take forever using the bathroom. Now I'm at the gas station running late like a fucking single parent. And then I have to go, I have to go work out. And he wants me to work out at 8.30. Then I'm a little appointment. I gotta drop off at 7 30. It's 7 36. Bitch, I'm really late. Oh no. Bye. Right, hold on. Good morning, bitch. Hey, y'all. 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 Well, y'all know I already kind of low key had started the vlog already, but. Shout. When I mother freaking tell you. First things first, I wash my damn hands. I'm over here taking stuff off my garbage. I mean, my um, damn, what's it called? My damn dishwasher. Girl, let me tell y'all. So I was gonna vlog, but I just was not in the mood. Like last night, after that shit happened with that nigga throwing that shit in my face and all that other little weird ass rah rah shit, bitch, I wasn't even in the mood no more. So that's why I didn't come back on the vlog last night. And then far as this morning, I just wanted to sit with myself because I feel like I just had to take a moment and just be like, you know, you are okay. Everything is good. I'm not even talking about that situation in particular. I'm just talking about like just me as a person. Like I really like to go to my trainer. It take me like maybe like 30 minutes to get there. Sometimes 40 if it's traffic, but I really just wanted to sit with myself. I think low key kind of and ground myself for a minute because I was like, you know, it is a lot going on. But bitch, you all right. You know, so I had to take one of those little moments, but I was definitely okay. But chill. I'm in a filming mood today, so I think I'm just gonna get working with my camera. It's so crazy because, um, It's so crazy because like I never, I, it's, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. 
I've had my cameras for so long, but I never really exactly knew how to film it with them. So if you're a YouTuber and you know what I'm saying, comment below. It's like, I just knew how to turn the camera on and I knew how to kind of get the lighting a little bit right, but I never was given like Alyssa Ash. Like, you know how she be like, it's like top tier. You know, I never was on that. But it's so crazy because we're buying my camera because the shit was so expensive. It has put me in a space to be like, I don't know. It's put me in a space of wanting to learn it. And I'm glad because that's why yesterday when we were taking pictures, you know, I was trying my best to really sit there and learn it. And I did really good for my first day. Cause that's why I say I'm my first day because I really actually was trying instead of just taking a camera out there and flicking, flicking, flicking. And even tonight, I think I'm going to just take my camera and like really try to like flick, flick, flick and see what I can get to because you know, I'm trying to really, I'm really trying to get busy. But nonetheless, right now I am loading a dishwasher. Denim is at the little teeth appointment. They ain't call me, so I'm assuming everything is okay. Because I'm only gonna think you're gonna call us, so I'm bad to jump off. And I'm like, bitch, you're not playing with me and my motherfucking baby. <laughs> but nonetheless, this is alright, y'all. Um, I'm gonna load in the dishwasher. I know I'm gonna get back pretty late tonight. So I'm really about to just sit there and edit a vlog for real. And then once I edit a vlog, I'm going to try to like, I'm going to edit a vlog and then I'm going to try to film like two or three videos today. And then I'm going to talk with my homegirl now. This is a tragedy, bitch. I'm trying to put this stuff up in here. Let me, I'll just put you in the next load. But in the last... That's why I didn't come back on the vlog. And then I gotta do another, I gotta do like two photo shoots this week, at least because I'm trying to do stuff for Sweet Heat. And I'm trying to promote myself as like a host now and motivational speaker. So I gotta start that kind of promo and photos and stuff. So, Shell, get ready for me, baby. Ready because bitch, I'm it's up, it's up this year, but yes, I feel really good today. I don't know, I'm just active. I got up early, like it's like everything is just like yes, and I love that for me. So, I'm gonna see y'all in a minute. See y'all, boobs. Hey, y'all, how y'all feeling? So, basically. I'm here right now about to film a video I'm about to film a video for YouTube on this wig okay I'm back I was saying hey y'all I'm about to film a video on this wig for YouTube. I'm actually really excited for this wig though because it's kind of different. So chill. We gonna get into it. Girl, why I had sat here, I ordered like a lot more, how I many like three things of camera equipment. And then I ended up doing my nails. I had these little press ones. Let me see if I can make y'all focus. Um these are the ones I ended up getting wearing wearing. These are the Salon acrylic French Revolutionary French tips. If you guys were interested, my boo paid for me to get my nails done. Damn, you hear that shit loud as fuck. What I was saying is, my boo actually um gave me money to get my nails done, but I want to go to this nail tech, and she like a celebrity nail tech, and her ass is doing nails her ass is booked up for like the month so basically i can't get my nails done until the end of the month because i want to just try somebody new but child when i tell you like she's really good 
I'm really excited because I want to get my nails done. Like, really bad. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Doing a great job. I'm trying to test the audio. Y'all, girl, let me show y'all the little patient, honey. Come here. Come here with your little drowsy self. Come here. Come here. Come here. Y'all, Mumu is so drowsy. She's so drowsy. You okay? Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Let me see if you Oh, they cleaned them really good. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, they told me. Then I'm got a little cast on. Well, not a little cast, a little rat. Let me see. They said I could take it off. They gotta take it off. Just keep going on. Um, she literally just threw up. What the hell is going on outside? Look at all these crows. Honey, don't worry, your mama is coming with your favorite little ass toys. Child, I'm supposed to go out, but I'm scared. I don't want to go out with my daughter all sick. There you go. It's okay. Girl, I don't think I'm going tonight. I don't want to go and my motherfucking baby over here is sick and I got to watch her and stuff. Because I th last time she wasn't like this. She was like sick. No, she wasn't even sick. She wasn't even that drowsy. She literally just was nothing you need to lay down you over here looking at me and peeking around the corner child i don't know what's going on but let me show y'all my peppers and then we on the couch for the rest of the night because uh -uh. i can't be taking no risks mm -mm. so right now i'm about to seal my peppers up So the way I was making them was I put some chicken at the bottom. That way it was like both. Cause when I did it last time I put chicken at the um, what I do? I put chicken at the top, and then by the time I got to the bottom, it was just rice. So I was like, oh no, I didn't like the way that tastes. I mean, it was cool, but it just didn't feel even. You know what I mean? So they put. But I promise you, my new thing is cauliflower rice because I love it. But I didn't cook enough because I ate some and June had some too. And I'm getting, a, I'm not even trying to get the beans in it to be honest, but. It's ending up getting beans in it. Mmm. 
That's real good. I'm gonna eat my dinner. All right, start editing this video. Mm -hmm. All right, see y'all. Hey y'all, so I'm sorry. I'm just laying down, but I got the camera facing up. But basically, denim is okay. She had went in to get a procedure, so they put her to sleep. So the other day, she had went to get the checkup, and then they put her to sleep on this checkup, and they actually went ahead and cleaned her teeth and took all the tartar off and all the kind of things. And I basically do that so that she can have her teeth because most older dogs don't have their teeth in their mouth or they're rotting out or something like that so yes child i had to do that and i dropped off at like 7 8 a.m and i picked her up around like 5 p.m um she's still drowsy she's not throwing up as much because i gave her this medication but i know y'all be asking like is them okay and did i'm all right yes she is um she go honey she just had to get her little teeth clean, but she's now starting to bounce around a little bit better. But as the days go on, I'm just going to keep watching her and she's definitely going to progress. And, you know, if not, I'll take what I need to do into consideration and get my child where she needs to go. But, yes, love y'all. See y'all in the next vlog.